Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome to your love reading for Libra. This is going to be for your um, March 2024, a new love reading for you guys. Uh, you can apply this to your sun and your rising Venus signs. So uh, we are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love. Okay, and then we will take a look at the new person or the new love that you're dealing with or that you could be dealing with in the future, what you need to know about this individual. Uh, apply this to your own unique situations. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective. Um, leave our people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Um, support me on there too. All right. So tell me about Libra. Libra in love. What's going on with Libra in love? Tell about Libra in love for uh, March 2024. For Libra. For Libra. For Libra. Seven of Wands, okay? Great energy to be in. Seems like you're standing your power here. You're standing alone. You're feeling powerful. You're feeling great. You're feeling confident at this time here. Could be that you're getting a lot of attention here too, Libra. We have the Ten of Pentacles here and the Three of Swords. Seems like you guys are in this energy of healing here. Healing from some sort of heartbreak that you went through here when it comes to a relationship here. So I feel like you guys are definitely in the process of moving on from somebody here. Healing from a situation here that you had, you know, perhaps a prosperous relationship here uh, with how however long it lasted here. Okay, let's see what else we have. The Devil and the Seven of Pentacles here. Wow. someone here cheated on you and i feel like you gave this person a chance and i feel like you realize that you started wasting your time on this person here because you feel you you realize that this person was not going to change their behavior here now this could be a situation that yeah maybe this is a new person that's in your life here where you've met this person like a month ago two months ago three months ago and i feel like this person is already doing this to you here and right now you're trying to like stand up for yourself you're trying to defend yourself here and i feel like you're trying to protect yourself here too all right tell me the seven of wands here why is the seven of wands here the four cups okay the strength card why is the strength card here the strength card here and the two of wands okay I do feel like you made a decision to move on from somebody here and not put yourself in the position where you're going to get hurt again, okay? This could also be a past event that you dealt with here too that you're still trying to reeling over, trying to get over here, okay? Tell me about the uh, Ten of Pentacles here. Ten of Pentacles here and the Three of Cups. Tell me the Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? Four of Pentacles. You might be feeling like there is someone here that is watching you. You might be feeling like someone here has a strong hold or a strong grip on you here. This could be someone that you are dealing with right now, you know, or that you have dealt with in the past. So just apply this to your own unique situations and your own timelines here. The uh, Seven of the Pentacles here and the Hierophant here. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like there is a bit of a psychic attack here where I feel like this person is definitely trying to control you from afar. Okay, and I feel like the most important thing that you could do right now with this situation here is to cut cords with this individual, put up a block, put up a barrier so that this energy is not coming through. But if this is not working, if you're, when you're doing it on your own, you have to call in the big guns here to help support you on this. You know, working with a Reiki healer, re working with the shaman here, because I do feel like this energy that you're that's kind of like attached to you or that's on you here i feel like this energy is definitely weighing you down here okay it's definitely weighing you down here but there is a sense of like you know i'm gonna cut this person out i'm gonna make a decision to move on from this and stand in my power that feels really great 
But the after effects of this is that this person's energy is sort of like lingering around. Tell me about the new love, new person that Libra is dealing with here or will deal with in the future. What does Libra need to know about this person? What does Libra need to know about this person? What does Libra need to know about this person? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Ace of Cups here and the Queen of Cups. Okay, Ace of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be meeting someone new here. Yeah. Eight of Swords here and the Ten of Wands. Whoever this is, you will meet someone new. So this could be a situation that this is someone that you dealt with years ago. And this person still has a strong energetic hold on you. Now, I feel like once you jump into this new relationship, which will be great, will be lovely here, there will be something here that's holding you back. I feel like whoever this is, this past person is not allowing you to move on to new love here. Okay? It's kind of like they feel like or they feel they feel like they own you in a way, which is like very demented here. Three of Pentacles here and the Eight of Cups. You know, even though you it's so interesting because I feel like since you met this person, things have sort of like maybe gone downhill for you guys in a way. Because I feel like you might grab onto something or that you might come into something here that might be really 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 good for you but for some reason or another for unexplainable reasons you just walk away you know whether it's a job whether it's friendships whether it's like a relationship because this relationship that's coming in could be really 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 good for you but out of nowhere you just walk away yeah you just walk away it has something to do with this past energy here that maybe put a spell on you here, you know, that has some sort of strong, strong energetic hold on you. Queen of Cups here and a Queen of Wands. Aries, a little Sagittarius energy. I do feel like there's some sort of spell work that's happening here. Yeah, I do feel like there's some sort of spell work that's happening here, Libra. It's like you're moving on to new things, but it's like you feel like something is pulling you back. Something is snatching you back here. Tell me the Eight of Swords here. Eight of Swords. We have the lovers here, Gemini energy, ton of wands. It could be also a situation that you haven't thought about this person in a very long time. And then out of nowhere, poof, this person's in your mind. You know, it's kind of like maybe this is someone that you don't, don't really care about. King to Queen of Cups here. Yeah, there is a soulmate that's coming in for you. Now, let's say, for example, the person that you're meeting here that's coming towards you, maybe this person's experiencing the energy that, that, that I was talking about. That, you know, this energy that's been latched on to this, uh, to, that's been latched on, it could be happening to your person. You know, it's like they really want to be with you, but they can't because something is pulling them back. Three of Pentacles here. We got the Knight of Wands, Aries, little Sagittarius energy. Tell me the Eight of Cups here. Why is the Eight of Cups here? The Eight of Cups here in the world. I actually see someone walking away from a, 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 a soulmate connection here. Yeah, I see someone walking away from a soulmate connection here. And I feel like it has something to do with this past energy, this devil energy here. That's sort of like attached you here. Because I feel like one of the things I'm getting here, like, good things are coming into someone's life, but it just doesn't last. Or someone here can't hold on to it. Yeah. So Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.